I come today to tune a Bluthner and it's uh, one of the straw four string Bluthners, it's the Aliquot. Um, it hasn't been tuned for many years so it's um, Well, some people would say that's in tune, but it's not. So this is number 103157, and it was sold to its original owner, who's the mother of its current owner, um, on the 23rd of January 1939. And indeed, here's the receipt uh, from the Groschen Steinweg uh, shop in uh, London. Blutner Short Grand Piano Forty. Number 103157, aliquot scale model in dark mahogany, three square taper legs, gilt iron frame overstrung, doubly bushed ivory keys, compass, seven and a half quarter octaves, special sale price, 109 guineas, 114 pounds. Isn't it wonderful to have the original documentation with this instrument? We'll get it back to sounding as it should. We've got problems because... I've just taken this out and put it back in, but we've got the action out. Um, the lead weights have oxidised and expanded. We're going to have to take the whole of the action out. And uh, if we can't put an emery board between them, a chisel them out off. And the hammers are grooved, which means that they're hitting the strings with quite a flat splat as they hit the strings. So at some stage, not today, I will reshape these hammers to restore their olive shape and that will improve the tone. Now in nearly 40 years of tuning I've always used perhaps wedges, um, that's these things, because one can uh, put them uh, to blank off the two side strings very easily or just one or the other um, and uh, people have said well yes but you can actually mark the soundboard. Well sometimes one can mark the soundboard but they're very quick. Now the interesting thing with this is that of course if you want to tune the aliquot to that basic note um, you can't really very easily use felt wedges and so whilst increasingly I'm using felt wedges um, the paps wedge seems to be the most useful. So I've set the tuning meter to the octave above and whilst this is perfectly in tune but the octave above of course is the first harmonic and I'm I'm tuning the aliquot to this first harmonic um, let's take this down 12 notes down to B flat here we are so here we can see the fundamental hopefully in tune Wrong one. Yeah, that's. And there's a beat on that. But this is in tune with the first harmonic. Something else that's very interesting is that um, people say one should never pluck a piano string. And you can see here in the light, perhaps, where these strings are rather rusty where the acid from people's fingers plucking them to tune them has made them rusty, whereas the strings underneath are still quite shiny. Having more done more experimenting, I found that the aliquots, if tuned to the fundamental, can just sound as though the dampers aren't working properly. But there, I've simply tuned that note so that, um, let's get that down, uh, so that I can't do anything about that, um, but I've tuned that so that that is in tune. So it's the first harmonic that we're reinforcing. So here we've got it in tune.